Standing start, of course, for our Honda Cadets. Eight minutes rather than six on the clock, bear in mind. 32 cars on the grid, eyes on the lights, and we're away for the last time in Honda Cadets for 2019. It's a great start from grid two. Jane and Greg get up into the lead of the race. Bit of uh, time on the grass there, spent by uh, Oliver Bocock there, but he's back up and away. Uh, just uh, trying to get around all the competitors, I think, as they head up the hill. But look at this, Oscar Tumulty challenging Jaden Gregg for the lead at the front. In the mid-pack is the usual squirreling around for position. Looks to me, though, like everyone's got away cleanly. And look at that. Oscar Tumulty has got him into the lead. Jaden Gregg battling the way uh, with uh, Henry Jocelyn there in the 62. Uh, the 72 of Joe Cheek has got through as well. So it's Tumulty, Gregg. Uh, Joe Cheek and then Henry Jocelyn, your top four as they come into the back straight. And in fifth place, critically here, Spencer Brown in fifth place there with Devon Nolan in sixth, bearing down on him. If Spencer Brown finishes there, it doesn't matter. It does not matter where uh, Morgan Hill finishes. And there he is, by the way, in the mid pack, currently chasing Casey Lynch in the 41. At the moment, Spencer Brown doing enough for the lead of the race, though. Jaden Gregg bearing down on Oscar Tumulty as they come up the hill. Devon Nolan still attacking uh, Spencer Brown, as too is Ewan Charman, who took a heat win earlier today. And now down the inside of Tumulty goes Jaden Gregg for the lead of the race. And I think he's surely got it done there. And yes, he has. Jaden Gregg leads and through two has got the 72 of Joe Cheek. So it's now Gregg from Cheek. And now down the inside goes Devon Nolan and Henry Jocelyn at the same time on Oscar Tumulty. And it's Devon Nolan who's come out in third place. And look at this. This is brilliant stuff from these young racers. There goes Ewan Charman down the inside now of Henry Jocelyn. That must be for fourth place. Oh, there's a swipe across there. Got to be careful with that. They all keep going. But the drivers have got to be aware of who's around them there. And that has allowed uh, Spencer Brown to get past Oscar Tumulty. Morgan Hill is not able to do enough at the moment. And off onto the grass goes Devon Nolan. That could be another position to Spencer Brown if he's got the speed up the straight. No, he doesn't. Devon Nolan recovers it. So at the moment, I think it's still, it is still Jaden Gregg in first. Next is Joe Cheek. Then is Ewan Charman and Henry Jocelyn. And then it's Devon Nolan and Spencer Brown currently in seventh place. Now, seventh is not high enough to cover off any position for Morgan Hill. But with Morgan currently further down the order, that is good enough for Spencer Brown at the moment. That is good enough. So Morgan Hill would have to win the race, or I think he's second uh, to, to offset Spencer finish there. And we've got a driver off there. It is uh, Charlie Mills off the side of the road, so unfortunately that is race run for Charlie. We come on to a new lap here, remember we've got slightly on the race this time, eight minutes on the clock. Jaden Gregg, your leader. Uh, but there's been a change for second, there's been two changes for second in fact, because uh, Ewan Charman and Henry Jostin have now got back past the uh, 72 of Joe Cheek there for second place. Now Joe Cheek, oh, he's got back though, Joe Cheek. Back up into third, but Devon Nolan's back on the scene. Jaden Gregg leads, Ewan Charm in second. Joe Cheek in third, somehow still in the 72. He's held up well there. And then there's Devon Nolan in the 54 in fourth place. Behind them though, the uh, 62 of Henry Jocelyn and the 11 of Spencer Brown battling the way over fifth place. And as I say, uh, so, uh, with uh, that means Spencer's now in sixth. Sixth is good enough to guarantee, no matter what Morgan Hill does uh, at the moment. So Spencer Brown doing enough, I believe, to hold on to this championship fight at the moment on the tail of Henry Jocelyn, who himself has had a particularly strong round 11. Jaden Gregg now under a lot of pressure here from Ewan Charman. These are both two drivers who have done extremely well here today. Jaden Gregg, I don't think has had, he hasn't had a heat win today, but he's, uh, he's driven superbly. Get back to that lead battle. Jaden Gregg for number seven. Ewan Charm is the number ten. Devin Nolan is the green Hamilton driver in the 54. The top three there coming through to begin a new lap. Then it's Joe Cheek in the 72. Henry Jocelyn in the 62. And Spencer Brown there in the number 11. 
then could cost a penalty. It's not to this pack here. Morgan Hill there in the 22 can just sit down through. It's not going to be enough at the moment for Morgan Hill. Morning there. For uh, Max Cuthbert, number five. And there for the lead goes Ewan Charman down the inside. And likewise behind them, Henry Johnson just went fourth there on Joe Cheek and he made it stick. So it's all changeable to the top six. And it means that your leader, no, it's Jaden Gregg again. Now Devon Nolan, three abreast going into Osu's and Devon Nolan is going to take himself into the lead of the Honda Cadets final for round 11 here. Devon Nolan has judged that brilliantly. And he is going to get himself up into uh, up into the top spot for now. He has not had a finals win yet this year as Devon Nolan. Devon Nolan leads, Jaden Gregg in second, third is Ewan Charman, then it's Henry Jocelyn, then it's Spencer Brown. With Joe Cheek still on his tail, but that means that he is in the crucial fifth position at the moment, Spencer Brown, to take the points he needs to win the championship, no matter what Morgan Hill does. And Morgan Hill is too far down the order at the moment. Two minutes left on the clock. And I can't tell you who's going to win, but that's fine. That's what the connects we're used to, right? As they come round, Wilkins and Ozzy is down. Devon Nolan say to our knowledge he's not taken uh, any finals victory so far this year he's starting to bridge the gap he's starting to bridge the gap he has had one heat win he's never done so far this year no excuse me two Again, Ewan Charman is in the wheel tracks here of Jaden Gregg. Henry Jocelyn ready to pounce should the opportunity arise. There is Tumulti now ahead of Joe Chi. They come into the boot. We are going for the final lap of Honda Connect for 2019 WMKC. There is your leader, Devon Nolan, in the 54, the green helmeted driver there. Jaden Gregg in second, Ewan Charman third, Henry Jocelyn in fourth, and Spencer Brown in fifth, doing as, what he needs to do to hold on to this championship as we calculate it here in the box. At the moment, I believe he will be on a score of one, two, five, four. Devon Nolan having to deal with some traffic here. It's the 78. Uh, it's the 78 of Jaden Haynes who's trying to navigate there. Uh, it's all been cleared now. Devon Nolan just has to go around Wilkins. Jaden Gregg has done a super. Oh no, Jaden Gregg has lost out. Excuse me, you and Charman. You and Charman uh, has got by on Jaden Gregg. But this young man here, Devon Nolan, is going to come round the final few corners here. And at the final round of the Wilton Mill Cart Club Championships for 2019, Devon Nolan is going to take a finals win. You and Charman finishes second. Henry Jocelyn in third. Disappointment for Jaden Gregg on the last lap there. Uh, and then it's Oscar Tumulti in uh, sixth, followed by Joe Chi. Uh, excuse me, but the one that missed out, sorry, in sixth, coming home uh, quietly, but crucially, was Spencer Brown. Spencer Brown comes across the line in sixth place, and as we, and provisionally we say at least, claims the championship in Honda Cadets for 2019. Devon 